forced to return to Canberra for a pre-Christmas parliamentary flurry. The quicker we do it, reduce uh, costs on households, the better. Families are getting hurt now, so it's important we act now. An extraordinary intervention in the energy market to be unleashed. This is the government of Australia acting in the national interest. Domestic gas prices to be capped at $12 a gigajoule, suppliers to come under a mandatory code of conduct, as well as a new reasonable price regime, power bills for concession card holders, pensioners and businesses to be discounted under a $1.5 billion federal package matched by the states. While I will be supporting this package, I want to see a lot more in the way of electrification. One way of addressing that is helping people get out from under the greedy gas corporations. The Greens and crossbench Senator David Pocock guaranteeing passage of the energy package in return for a promised program to electrify heating and cooking appliances in low-income households. The Prime Minister went to the election promising on 97 occasions that he would reduce power prices by $275. It's just not going to happen. OK, you've made yourself irrelevant. Not once have we claimed that this is a magic bullet or we'll see prices go down next year. Even with this intervention, power prices are still expected to soar by 47% over the next two years. With that in mind, government sources have told the ABC more household and business support will have to be considered, provided it doesn't make inflation worse. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.